I wonder what I should compare an animal cell to. Hmm. <gasps> All right, I've came up with my comparison. You may have already guessed what it is. It's going to be God, because that was the simplest thing I could come up with. What, did you think it was going to be Fortnite? <laughs> Whoever does Fortnite is a nerd. <laughs> Jackson. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start to compare all this. Starting this whole thing off, I'm going to go ahead and compare the nucleus to, yes, you've guessed it, God. Now, a nucleus is the central, most crucial, most important part of an object. And, well, I mean, God created everything, so I think that's, I think that's pretty important. And if you don't believe in God, well, I, mean, I, I don't really know. I mean, I believe in God, so it's true to me. Next is mitochondria, which it's in charge of energy creation. It makes the energy that is needed. And I kind of think of that like Jesus Christ. You know, he gives you the energy that you need for each day to live a Christian life. Mitochondria kind of looks like hot dogs, man. You know, I should have... I should have compared all this to food, and now I'm hungry. Now, next on our list is Golgi apparatus, and what Golgi apparatus is, Golgi apparatus eyes? What they do is they package and send materials to wherever they need to go in the cell, and I kind of think of that as missionaries. Missionaries go out into the world, and they deliver the word of God to the people who need it. Now for cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is that liquid that's inside of the cell that makes movement possible so things can move around easier. And I'm comparing that to the Holy Spirit, which makes movement to a better understanding more possible. Now it's time for cell membrane. And the cell membrane is the most important part of this cell because it literally holds everything together. And without that, you know, everything will just fall apart in a cell. And that's kind of like faith. Faith holds everything together. And without faith, everything would fall apart. Okay, so lysosomes. Basically what they do is they clean waste that is in the cell. They, you know, make it nice and squeaky clean. And they also help with digestion. So I'm comparing it to prayer. Whenever you pray, you could heal someone who is not doing so well. Or it can help get bad thoughts out of your mind. Now for rough ER. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Rough ER basically makes proteins and sends it to the Golgi apparatus. And I like to think of it as when you first become a Christian, you're reborn and you're sent to Jesus Christ. Next are ribosomes, and ribosomes give you energy slash proteins in the cells that you have in your bodies, just like the Bible gives you protein slash energy in your spiritual life. <laughs>